I don't know about you, I don't think I've ever been so happy to see someone juggling. The recovery he made and the smile on his face is so inspirational. That is a true hero. Hey, the power of prayer is real, and Ashley and I do want to pray for you in our remaining minutes here. Before we do, Ashley, can you read us a praise report that yeah, came Yeah, absolutely. So this is uh, Candace of Baltimore, Ma Maryland. She said for months she suffered in her right shoulder. She was also deeply concerned about a lump in her right breast. Candace took her concerns to the Lord in prayer and called CBN's prayer line. Later, Candace called back to share that she no longer has either of those Amen. problems. Praise God. Exactly what Andrew said. There is power in prayer. Why? Because we have a God who his ear is inclined to you and me. Why? Because he loves us. He loves his children and he is ready, willing and able to heal you, to set you free, to make you whole. So as Andrew and I pray, Two or more, where two or more are gathered in my name, there I am with them. So as an act of faith, whatever the issue is that you're struggling with, if, if it's physical, put your hand on that area. If it's mental, put your hand on your head. Whatever the issue is, if it's for someone else, think of them as we go into prayer, as we go boldly to the throne room of grace and pray and intercede for one another. Join us right now. Lord Jesus, we just take a moment to honor you, to worship you, Jesus. We say thank you. Thank you, Lord God, for dying on that cross for our sins, for dying on that cross to make us whole, to heal us from the top of our heads to the soles of our feet. And so right now we just declare over everyone who's watching, whether they themselves are struggling with a physical issue, a mental issue, an emotional issue, or, or it's a loved one, Lord, we just declare right now in the name of Jesus that the power of the blood of Christ is applied to that issue and they are healed, they are set free and they are made whole by the power of God in Jesus name. Thank you, Lord. I just sense this clear as day as, as Ashley told you to put your hand on that area that needs healing. Someone's got their hand on their head because of intense migraine pain that's been going on for weeks and the Lord's taking that pain away right now in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Yes. There's somebody else watching, you've got issues in your left hand and it's in the bones, it's arthritis, it's your ligaments. There's a lot of inflammation in this left hand. Also uh, carpal tunnel, it, you honestly can't really use it that much. It's very painful. You've been asking God to heal you. I believe God is touching you right now. You'll be able to move, even right now, just begin to move your hand like you haven't been able to do for a long time and just receive this healing now in the name of Jesus. Someone's finding great joy and rest and peace right now, and they don't know why. They're almost troubled by it. Where is this coming from? And I feel like I'm supposed to remind you from the Lord that you prayed for this. Amen. You have been praying for a spirit of peace and joy and rest in the Lord, and He's giving you that right now in Jesus' name. Yeah, there's somebody else watching. You have not been able to like catch your breath You've been struggling to breathe. You've had a chest tightness. You're not sure what it's from, whether it's a heart issue or a lung issue. God is touching you right now. May the breath of God just release whatever issue that is. You are healed in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. And amen. Hey, if you guys had an answer to prayer, please give us a call at 1-800-700-7000 to tell someone that you have been healed.